Sometimes there's just weird things going on in the industry, and this time it seems to revolve around the Nintendo Switch 2. What we're talking about today needs to have full credit given to dear friend of the channel, Andres Restart, who covered this exact thing today and put in the real legwork on this story. So I will link to his video down below. You guys should absolutely go subscribe to his channel because he's putting out daily content and a lot of it ends up being stuff that maybe I wasn't even aware of. He's an excellent researcher. So the big thing here that we need to talk about is the fact that Nintendo might be somehow, some way, kind of covering up this story about Nintendo Switch 2 coming out in September. Now, why are we saying this? What is this story? If you guys remember last week, towards the end of the week, we had this breaking story heading into the weekend about Alltech Lansing, who announced a partnership a licensing agreement with a company called AI Shark. This happened during CES 2024, and this caused AI Shark to put out their own press release. In that press release, it stated quite plainly that we are releasing our product, AI Shark, which is made up, you know, the coal company is made up of former Game Shark developers, that they are releasing their product, AI Shark, alongside the Nintendo Switch 2 in September of 2024. It was right there in black and white. Now, there was a retraction eventually posted. As you can see here, I Jason Schreier over on Twitter here. And look, he simply said, an FYI, an AI shark spokesperson tells me that they're just guessing about the next Nintendo console's release date. Now, if that was it, and Andres Restart noted this as well, I mean, that's kind of the end of the story. We already covered this story. It's not a big deal. The release date was leaked, but then maybe it's not a leak, and maybe it was a mistake, and maybe they were just doing this for attention. And that's fine. If that was literally all there was to this story, I'd pretty much leave it alone. And yes, they, you know, AI Shark did later go on and change their press release to remove the mention directly of September of 2024. But here's the thing. Things get a little fishy thanks to an article from IGN. Now, IGN covered this story as well, and they advertised this article several times over the weekend. I saw it at least three different times on three different days, which is kind of weird when the update to the story seems to be that, hey, they're just guessing and maybe they were just doing this for attention. Or the Nintendo Ninjas got involved, right? It's not like we know. Well, here's the story, and when we go down on IGN to this last part here where they put the update, here's what it says. Both Digital Trends and Bloomberg's Jason Schreier have now reported receiving statements from Alltech Lansing that seem conflicting to double down on the fall 2024 date and also claim that the date is guesswork. What's likely? And again, this is because Digital Trends' response was, hey, we don't know what's coming in September, but we know what's coming in fall. Okay, so here is what happens. What's likely happening here is that Alltech Lansing was, in fact, making an, an educated guess on the date of Switch's release based on internal industry conversations as well as analyst models. And this is the terminology we need to pay attention to. Internal industry conversations. Now look, it is very unlikely the makers of AI Shark have a dev unit of Nintendo Switch 2. In fact, it's very unlikely they have had any contact directly from Nintendo. These guys were former makers of Game Shark, a device Nintendo actually filed a lawsuit against at one point in the past. Nintendo is very likely not going to be talking directly to this company. So, what does industry chatter mean? Well, industry chatter is basically everyone else, all the developers and the journalists that have access to those developers that have dev units and know when the thing's gonna come because yes, game developers are usually given a timetable to get their games ready for things like launch or shortly after launch, stuff like that. They might not know the exact day, but Nintendo might have told these you know, partner companies you know, a, a rough estimated timetable of when the system is coming out so they know when they have their games ready to go. Here's the thing, that is industry chatter. And 
it is entirely possible that AI Shark that works alongside many of these companies that could have dev units of Nintendo Switch 2, that they were told about this industry chatter, they were given information from it, and that led to this conversation. And it's interesting that IGN brings it up because IGN is one of those outlets that is highly connected and possibly could be aware of industry chatter behind the scenes. So then the question remains, why did they need to retract their statements? Or why did they double down on fall with digital trends, but then try to retract it through Bloomberg? Remember, they actually responded to digital trends first, telling them, well, maybe it's not September, but it's definitely fall of 2024. And then you had, obviously, Jason Schreier just saying straight up, oh, it's just guesswork. But it might be educated. And this is the part that just makes this entire story fascinating. Because we talked about how Nintendo could have got a hold of Altec Lansing to help get a hold of these people at AI Shark to get that retraction to say, hey, we don't actually know anything, it's just guesswork, yada, yada, because Nintendo's not going to want some random company making cheating tools that Nintendo doesn't even like to be the ones to reveal when their big system's coming, all right? Nintendo wouldn't be happy about that. Their lawyers would likely get on the damn phone. And we talked about that last video, but what we didn't really think much about, and again, credit to IGN's article for this, is that it still could have actually been the actual release date based on industry chatter, hence why they originally doubled down when they responded to digital trends about that press release. This, to me, is a fascinating story where Nintendo themselves, if all of what we've just gone over is true, and Nintendo was involved in getting this story shut down, that Nintendo themselves is trying to hide the fact that this whole September fiasco is real that that is when the Nintendo Switch 2 is coming. Kind of interesting to think about, right? Why would Nintendo want to cover all of this up? Well, they haven't announced the system yet. They don't want to kill current sales of Switch. They, they, they're they still trying to sell Switches right now in this fiscal quarter. Yeah, they might not be releasing the big, big, big selling games, but if people hear about the Nintendo Switch 2 and think it's actually coming on an exact date because of a press release, maybe that would make people a little nervous to buy Switch right now. And then they know that. That's why they're going to time the release and time the announcement for when they want to do it. They could literally announce this thing in June and have it come out in September. That's how long they could wait to announce Nintendo Switch 2. So it's interesting and fascinating to think that Nintendo could be the ones trying to shut down the story, not because it's not true, not because they didn't tell AI Shark when this thing is coming out, but because AI Shark heard about it from other people in the industry that do indeed know. And they jumped the gun for attention. Got it. Pissed off Nintendo, who already probably doesn't like them in the first place, and they're not worried about it because GameShark actually won that lawsuit I referenced earlier that Nintendo lobbied against them years ago. So they're not worried about Nintendo filing lawsuits, but they also don't want to ruffle too many feathers. So the lawyers get on the phone and they're like, whoa, whoa. Oh, hey, it's just guesswork. Because remember, they didn't originally say it was guesswork. They, 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 they actually doubled down when they talked to digital trends. And then literally later, some people said it was 20 minutes later, Jason Schreier's post actually happened almost two hours after the story broke, to be clear. This was not an instant response. The instant response was to digital trends. It, it, it's very in interesting to me to think about how this story could actually be hiding a real truth in it that we maybe just sort of dismissed. And again, credit to Andres Restart for pointing this out because I wasn't even going there or thinking about this. Again, I didn't have to read every damn article on this story, but IGN bringing up the fact that there's industry chatter and the industry chatter could have been why they said September. <sighs> Man, Nintendo... You clever dogs, you. You're trying to shut down the truth, aren't you? I'm on to you. <laughs> so let me know what you think about this story down below. Do you think Nintendo's trying to shut some things down, trying to like let the story die out, announce obviously the system whenever they want to announce it? Do you think September is a likely time for it to come out? I know I've been saying summer. Technically, the first three weeks of September are summer 
at least here in the United States. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. I am Nathaniel Rebeljance from Nintendo Prime, and we'll catch you guys in the next video.